Hey everybody, with Argentina winning the Copa America after a long drought, it, we thought it'd be kind of fun to put together a quick show of the impact Argentinian players have had on Benfica and uh, the top players uh, for each of us that we've enjoyed the most. But before we get to the uh, top three players that we each pick, um, basically get into what Argentina means for Benfica, the impact it's had on the club. Let's let's get a few different takes here. I would say I would say first or second because we get a lot from Brazil, don't we? But we also get a lot from Argentina, and like throughout throughout ever since Benfica's been a club, we have had a strong link between. Uh, the two countries like sending scouts there and recruitment um, from Argentina. So, you know, the impact of Argentina on Befica over the last decade. I mean, it's it's obvious that between Argentina and Brazil, it's been a pipeline of talent for us. Um, you know, you got to look at players like um, Sal uh, Salvio, um, Saviola, Aymar. Garay, even some uh, also rands like uh, Diaz, Conti, Lima, or Lama, I should say. Um, you know, there's some pretty crappy players in there, like Ferreira as well. He didn't really um, do much for Benfica, but it's been a pipeline. You know, it's amazing when you look at it um, over the la last 20 years, 30 years, actually maybe almost 30 years since 1993, uh, Argentina's won five under 20 World Cups. I witnessed one of them personally here in Toronto in the 2007 uh, FIFA under 20 World Cup, you know, and Di Maria actually featured in that. Um, they've had a pipeline of youth, one of the best youth systems in the world. And the fact that Benfica taps into that uh, obviously has paid off financially, obviously, but some championships as well, we benefit from that. So um, Argentina has been huge for us in terms of a pipeline of talent for Benfica. So it's amazing, you know, I, I like Argentina. I love I love seeing them. The fans are passionate. Um, you know, one of my favorite idols, Diego Maradona and Canizia, call it Canizia, featured in this World Cup back in Italy, uh, 1990. Argentina is such a passionate and great country when it comes to football, and I'm happy uh, that they finally won the Copa America for Messi. So, cheers to that. Sergio couldn't have put it better in terms of the amount of talent we've seen and been blessed to see associated with Benfica. When you look at this Argentinian team that won the Copa and Argentinian teams from the last decade, Benfica and Argentina have been interlinked for quite a bit of their 11 for many years. Um, and then when you think of Benfica and you think of the players we see wear a Benfica shirt, obviously domestic players from Portugal. But in terms of a foreign country, only Brazil can rival Argentina in terms of the amount of talent that is played at this club. But there is a slight difference. When you look at these names and you're thinking back of all these memories, and I just captured from 2010 onward, one thing that is going to stick out, I find, when it comes to Argentina is that once you get one of these players on your side wearing your shirt, they'll bleed for the club, they'll cry for the club, they'll fight for the club. My God, if you look at Otamendi as a prime example of someone that as soon as he's representing you, does he ever represent you? When you look at Enzo Perez, he didn't really want to leave Argentina. But once he came to Bifica, my God, did he give his heart for the club. From Nico Gaitan to Servi and the tears you saw, the tears of joy, the tears of sadness when they leave from Salvio and so on. Man, these guys, they love it. And we love them back, rightfully so. So I'm looking forward for many more years of Argentinian players. For the next little bit here, we're going to talk about top three players in the last let's say from 2010 onward uh, the ones we think of you can sneak in Pablo Aymar because it went right at the cusp there um, and if there's anyone we miss or anyone you want to give a special shout out to pop it in the comments but for now I'll go back to England except this time I'll go to my buddy Luis let's see what this is kind of picked and what he's up to and who his top three Argentinians are What is going on, Boops at Mifi after 90? How are you all doing? I'm at work, enjoying. Look at this place. Look at the absolute place. Everything is set for the game of the year. Um, two Argentinians. We are talking about Argentinians today. Three Argentinians that I love or love that Benfica and still love. First of all, easy. I saw him play last night. Um, Di Maria. Di Maria. 
I, 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 remember, I remember a few goals that he, he scored for us. And even when he left, he went to Real Madrid, Man United, PSG and stuff. Always followed him. And, you know, last night, again, showed his class against Brazil. Uh, you know, nice little chip, nice little woo. You some ketchup, you want some ketchup, mate? Right? I'm at work, so, you know, this is a bit dodgy, you know? Anyway, so yeah, Di Maria, uh, Pablo Aymar, like, oh. Pablito, Pablito, hey, Chico. Um, I miss him, I miss him a lot. It was one of these signings that I wasn't really, like, too keen on. I didn't know much about Pablo Aymar before he joined me in Fica. But man, did he bring class into the club and, and, and uh, into the and onto the pitch. Everything was just amazing. It was just amazing, guys. And then the last one was tough, guys, because, you know, I, you know, I liked a few of Argentinian players, but, you know, I want to say Enzo Perez, man, because he scored this amazing goal against Sporting. And I don't think we give him enough credit because, you know, he was at a club. I don't feel like he was at a club for that long, but he showed his class. We ha he had a few issues here and there with the club, but you know, I, I miss him. And you know, he did the little dance in the corner flag when he fucked up sporting, my arms hurting. Uh, yeah, but apart from, I think those are my three. And uh, if I had to pick one, I'd pick Pablo Duaymar, because he's just class, wasn't he? Do you, I don't know if Ethan might be too young to even remember this guy, but um, I, yeah. I think I think probably Dwayne will be the one. Uh, we'll get we'll get we'll get the TV in the background so we can get the, the show copyrighted. Good. What's going on, everybody? This is Mr. Mello, and I'm here to give you my top three Argentina players uh, that play for Benfica. At number three, we're gonna go with the midfield stud Enzo Perez. Um, he was a part of some great teams there early Benfica years with uh, JJ, uh, where they started turning the tide around. Uh, we're gonna go with another guy from that era, Angel Di Maria, uh, at number two. Um, Mr. Uh, CONCACAF Cup, Mr. Gold Cup himself, Mr. Copa America himself, if you will. Um, and number one, easy peasy man, that's not Pablo Aymar. Um, and that's my top three Argentina players. Hi, it's Ethan from all the way over in the UK. My favorite uh, three Argentinian players are Nico Gaitan, Angel Di Maria, and my current favorite at the minute is Nicolas Otamendi. I think since Nicolas Otamendi has been at the club, he's been a true leader. Um, he's only joined in the summer of this year from Man City and ever since he's come in I think he's made a good um, influence into the defensive back line with Lucas Vermissio and Jan Vertonghen uh, my thoughts on Di Maria like I, I have a big soft spot for him of course he went to Manchester United I've seen him play live a couple of times and he's had a pretty good career in loads of different countries obviously with us Um then he went to Real Madrid, where he won quite a few Champions Leagues, didn't he? And then he went to uh, the UK, to Manchester uh, United, and he, he did well, but then he kind of dropped off it. But then again, he went to PSG, and he kind of proves that he's still quite quality, and what he what he's doing over there is quite influential for PSG's uh, success. So, for me... The top three Argentinian players of the last decade um, that Benfica's had, definitely you've got to have um, Di, Maria, Di Maria up there. You definitely have to have Salvi up there, and obviously Gaetan. Those are the top three players that I think we've had. You know, honorable mention Garay in the back. He was solid for us for a couple seasons. Enzo Perez also featured, um, but for me, the top three definitely has to be uh, those three players that I just mentioned. Um, also, in terms of my favorite player, it definitely has to be Angel de Maria. You know, he only played a couple seasons at the beginning of the decade for us, but uh, but he managed to win a title. Uh, George's first season with us, he went on to win titles in Real Madrid, won the Champions League title uh, in. 13-14 uh, in our stadium as well um, that's awesome uh, has won multiple titles for PSG the only place that he didn't succeed at was um, you know Manchester United but that's more of the fact that it's Manchester United and how uh, disorganized that squad was back then um, but you know for me my favorite player by far just a player in the last decade that played for Benfica was is uh, definitely Angel de Maria. 
Hey everybody, I uh, asked another friend of mine, She um, Nina, uh, she had given me a couple names actually uh, to give a shout out to for her top three, so I just wanted to quickly get those out there. Um, number three was Servi for her, uh, obviously loved what the kid gave for their shirt. Um, Di Maria, no surprise there, we're noticing a bit of a trend. And Nina's number one was Imar, absolutely loved Imar. And in terms of... Uh, my personal top three myself, and when we look at the list of players, my God, was this actually um, difficult when you're kind of wrangling it up there? Um, I would say easy for me to do number one for Imar, just because the amount of love I have for that player. Um, just a phenom, as you've seen, when you got Messi idolizing you, and that was Messi in peak Messi form, when Barcelona had Xavi and Iniesta, and they were just dominating and uh, to see Messi act like a child running to Imar for his jersey. Yeah, that's a wild scene. I absolutely love that scene. It's a great memory, and it goes to the level of talent and respect and class he has, and it was very cool to see him in the locker room celebrating the Copa with the, with the other players, which was quite amazing. So number one for me, Imar. And then really, I couldn't figure out the order of them, so I just kind of threw him out there, but it would be Enzo Perez because I, I just love the passion that he gave. Uh, for the shirt, uh, an amazing player. Absolutely love everything he did for us. And, and really, Nico Gaitan, like the, the moment where he's in tears. Um, and then it was Di Maria. And so that's four, and I'm cheating. And I know I'm cheating, but I, I had such a hard time with those three. And that was really my challenge. Like, Di Maria is a talent. Um, Argentinians have to thank him. Obviously, as a Portuguese person, I love Ronaldo. It's Eder, Eder who we thank for winning us the Euro. Um, and Ronaldo did a tremendous part in that Euro tournament. But if it wasn't for Eder, we'd have nothing. And if it wasn't for Di Maria, Argentina would still be in their drought. Uh, so I, I want to inch it towards him over Nico Gaiten, but I have to have Enzo in my top three. Uh, yeah, and outside of that, I just hope we get this continued blessing of having more Argentinians at Pifica. I just truly do feel they fight for us. But yeah guys, I hope uh, I hope you guys are good. I hope that when you watch this, Italy has actually won the freaking thing. And I'm like, come on, Forza Italia, squadra azzurra. You know? And uh, yeah, this place is going to be packed in about an hour. So um, I want to crack on and I'll pass it over to Mario. The absolute beautiful man, isn't he? He's a beautiful man. Peace. Um, as you could tell, obviously parts of this video was recorded just prior to the Euros and Copa, um, Sergio for background, his wife's Italian, uh, his family cheered on Portugal the whole way. And so obviously he returned the love and cheered on for Italy the whole way. Um, and so I'm happy for Sergio and for Ethan. Um, I know the heartbreak. We all know the heartbreak. Greece was an extremely painful loss in the finals. So uh, losing to Italy... I'm not saying it's any less painful. It always is painful. Uh, but a lot of good things come after losing a title like that. So look at France. They lost to us and went on to win the World Cup. So uh, keep on hoping. Uh, and I know Luigi won't be hoping for much because he hates the mess that's created in England. And uh, he'd rather keep things a little bit more calm in the home front. Um, but for all you guys checking this out, we appreciate it. We appreciate the likes, the views, all that fun stuff. Uh, the comments are the things that get me going the most. Same with, uh, Alex, uh, Joe, Ethan, Nina, Luigi, all of us. Um, uh, it's just, it's, it's very fun to hear your feedback, any thoughts you guys have. And as we kind of progress throughout this, uh, preseason and all the crazy circus that's going on, we'll get more videos out for you shortly. We'll get a live out in the next little while. Uh, but for now, Kaiga Bifica. Craig Argentina, Forza Italia, and you guys have a great week.
if he misses, then it's done. No, it's not. But I don't know. No, 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 no,